Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you an easier way to install mods for Slime Rancher. Now, first off, installing any mod however you want, this only works for PC. So as long as you actually bought the game through Epic Game Store, Steam, Game Pass, Windows Store, this basically all works the same. However, you can't install mods on game consoles, for example, like PlayStation, um, Switch, Xbox, Steam Deck, and so on. And it, this definitely doesn't work for any cracked versions. So basically, all these mods were actually created with the up-to-date uh, version of Slime Rancher in mind. So this definitely won't work on any outdated or altered versions of Slime Rancher. Now with that out of the way, let's just start immediately on how we are going to do this really easily. Now Nexus Mods basically holds like 99% of all mods out there for Slime Rancher. And basically Nexus Mods has their own launcher that actually can manage the mods for any game on their page for you, just from your PC. So we are going to be using third party software. Now if you don't wanna use this, well basically you can just do it as the manual way and I explained that in the video that I will link to it in the description down below, right below the like button. But honestly, this is going to be an easier way for some people. I really like it, I use it and it's completely safe. So let's just use this one in this video. Okay, so first off we are going to go to nexusmods.com. There's going to be a link in the description down below and you are just going to want to go get Vortex. Now, if you just go to nexusmods.com, you can just click mods and then get Vortex. Um, but once again, I will have a link to this page in the description. So basically click the download the latest version now. And in the file section, just download the file at the top described as one clicker installer for Vortex manual download. Well, basically the one clicker installer is just going to automatically install it on your C drive. If you want to give it a very specific location, then you may want to get the other one. Okay, so once you've actually installed Vortex, now you just actually want to boot it up. So just use the shortcut on your desktop page, for example. And once it's booted, you actually want to register for an account. Now, if you actually have already have an account with Nexus Mods, so just log in, or if you haven't, just register one. Now, you need to get one because basically, if you actually log in with the same account on Vortex, third-party software, and on the website, whenever you are browsing on the website and you say on a specific mod page for, for your game, like I want to have this mod, well, basically, then Vortex will actually get your signal from the website to the Vortex and Vortex knows, okay, now I have to download this mod for this game. That's basically how it works in layman terms. Now registering for an account is really easily. So this will just take a minute or so and you know, just set up an account and after that we're good to go. Now Vortex is capable of managing a lot of different games, but he will only do it if you actually tell him to do it. So that way he won't override specific mods that you have manually installed for specific games. Now in this version, we are just going to say to him, I want you to manage Slime Rancher. So what you just want to do is actually you are going to take a look at the sidebar and there you can see the game section. So just click on that, scroll down the list. It's completely alphabetical and we're going to look for Slime Rancher. Now, once you found it, click on it. Now, the thing with Vortex is he can automatically just immediately start managing games for you if you actually give him the permission. But for some games, he actually needs a plugin. So if you actually click on Slime Rancher, he is going to ask you if he gets permission to install a plugin just for managing Slime Rancher successfully. So just accept with that. Once you've actually installed a plugin, well, then basically Vortex will start looking for a Slime Rancher all on his own. I'm sure for like 90% of the people watching right now, this will com go completely easily. He will have found Slime Rancher all on his own. But in case he didn't find it, well, he's going to tell you and then you actually kind of have to help him a little bit. Now for this, this, goes, this is going to be really simple. So now we are just going to click on the sidebar once again on games. And on games, we are going to go to the top left on that page and there's going to be the option to do either a quick scan or a full scan. Now a quick scan will only look on the C drive, so the same drive where you actually installed Vortex, um, but you can also ask him to do a full scan. Now a full scan, he's going to ask you on which drive is this installed, on which drive do I have to go look? And basically the latter one, the full scan is going to take a few minutes, but you know, just do this and you are definitely going to find Slime Rancher with no problem. If you took the wrong drive, just pick the next one and the next one until you find it. It's going to be really simple. Just, I promise. 
Okay, so once you actually found Slime Rancher on your PC, well, now the fun starts. So what we now just wanna do is we are going to minimize Vortex and we are going to go to Nexus Mods, the website. So I will leave a link in, in the description down below to where you can find all the Slime Rancher mods on that website. But I really suggest that you install SRML first. Now, basically all mods for Slime Rancher require this specific mod. It's kind of a dependency. Now, every time you are going to download a mod, they are also going to immediately say, hey dude, I really, really need this mod to function. So we are going to install this one together. And after that, you can just basically install all the mods in the, in the same way. So just go to SRML, link in the description. And basically you are going to see in the top right, a button labeled download Vortex. So just click on that and the website is going to give you a signal to Vortex to say, hey dude, you really need to install this right now for Slime Rancher. If you don't see the button on the page, that just means that you haven't logged in on the website just yet. So just log in with the same account that you just created earlier in the video. And then you are going to see, of course, a button. So like I said, if you actually click the button, get Vortex, he may also want to ask you, are you going to use the slow download or the fast download? Now he's basically just going to ask you to get a subscription, to get a really fast download, but honestly don't do it because why should you? Now once the download has actually started, you can just open up Vortex. On the downloads page, you can actually just see the progress bar moving along. It's pretty fast in my opinion. And after that, you can just go find it in the page mods, once again on the sidebar, all the way at the bottom. And there you can find all the mods that you've installed. Now, this is a really important page that you should really take a look at because here you can actually decide to remove, update mods or do other stuff with it. Um, but typically those, those are gonna be the most important ones. So whenever Slime Rancher gets an update, that's not gonna be anytime soon to be honest, um, but you can just update the mod over here. Or if you say, I don't want this mod anymore, you can delete it over here. Now there is one more tool that I wanna give you and then it's going to be basically an, a step-by-step -step installation guide. Now in the description, you can find an installation guide for modding Skyrim and it's basically exactly the same for Slime Rancher. So just open up that page if you have any problems with installing Vortex, installing mods or whatever, and there you can find a completely up-to-date kept guide by Nexus Mods themselves for updating Skyrim. And you know, if you have any problems that you didn't understand in this video, just check out that guide first and you will definitely get your answer there or otherwise you can ask me in the comments down below. But that is basically how you can install mods really easily with Vortex. In the meantime, if you wanna know how Slime Rancher 2 is progressing, just check out this video right here, but don't click on it just yet. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on everything Slime Rancher related. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you over there.